guys, Empress Lux Sashay. Please like and subscribe. Thank you to those that do. I want to do a reading for t Twitch. We know. I took some time. I didn't want to rush into this reading. Um, I wanted to see what was the energy like for Twitch this last day. Was it really suicide? Just want to know. What's, what's the energy like for Twitch's last day? his death to suicide i thought about ellen take that as how you want to take it um if you ellen's lost three people connected to her this year um and hayes was just her ex fiance that was in that strange car accident that was a strange car accident i said what it said twitch um she's lost her show and that it was that um i can't think of the lady name the african-american lady who died of cancer now granted she may not have nothing to do with that that was nature natural <laughs> but yeah i thought ellen when i saw he couldn't so i already did what was twitch energy like for his last day here on earth Okay, that's it. Oh wow, do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? The first card is the world and the tower card. Completion. Completion, feeling like this is it. I've done everything in the tower moment, a release, an awakening, a revelation, sudden insight. For me, it does feel like it could have been, he did take his life. How those two cards came out. Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Disharmony, there was a conflict in a group setting, not being aligned. This made him impulsive and not care about what's coming afterwards. Huh. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius Energy, and Two of Pentacles. last stand something happened and it just was that was just it for him something definitely with the two of pentacles he had to make a decision was balancing his decisions and thinking about adaptability maybe for his family or the people he'll leave behind do you have the man knight of pentacles here leo and virgo energy I feel like this is saying these decisions has something to do with this Knight of Pentacles or just wanting to make sure. Was this decision based on money or finances? Was his final decision based on something financially? Yes, with the Knight of Wands. Impulsive energy again. He made an impulsive decision, something dealing with money. Is he the King of Pentacles in this spread? Yes, with the Knight of Pentacles. Very hardworking and was definitely focused on his responsibilities. So, mm. 
so Twitch did commit suicide. It was suicide. No. And yes. With the Five of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. This just came out, came out again. It was a disagreement, a conflict. Did someone help him in his life? Maybe with the magician. Clarify this Five of Wands card. There was the conflict of tension. Temperance. Ooh. Seven of Cups. Secrets. Finding the reason behind the choices and the illusion and this confusion. It was a diversion. A lot of secrets. Is this related to Ellen? Is this related to Ellen? Maybe. <laughs> With the Four of Cups. There's an energy of disconnection. Obviously, the show is over. Reevaluating something to do with Ellen. With your relationship with Ellen? Um, did Ellen have something to do with his death? Mm -mm, the lovers in reverse. N no. A disharmony and an imbalance. And financial loss with the five of pentacles. Something to do <laughs> with the indecision dealing with love. Your disharmony, financial loss, and this was stressing him out with the four of swords, heavy thinking, burnt out, just tired, stressed out. Did his wife have something to, did his wife have something to, do with his death? Yes. Wife, money, <laughs> wealth, security. I don't, I heard, ugh, I just heard worth more dead than alive. A fear commitment. Um, was Twitch seeing someone else? Was Twitch seeing someone else? Was there someone else in Twitch life romantically? Yes, the chariot. And there was movement in this relationship. This is masculine energy here. This was mm, 
causes someone to be very moody and jealous. Moodiness, double moodiness. Feeling like you're being emotionally manipulated. Um, was this Twitch feeling like this about the other person? Ooh. No, with the three of swords. Libra energy. Judgment. He had to make a judgment call about a relationship. A lot of masculine energy here. Definitely heartbreak here. I don't want to ask, but I'm going to ask. Um, was this other person a man? Yes, the first feminine card, really, Queen of Cups. But this person was very nurturing, like their the connection was healing. Gemini and Cancer energy. So, this happened because he couldn't make a decision between the wife and this person. May no definite answer, but the hangman came out a fear of sacrifice. He didn't want to lose and couldn't make a decision. Finally moving on with the five of cups, trying to find peace and just find forgiveness for himself. Six of Cups. Leaving home and moving forward. Too busy living in the past. Seven of Cups, a lot of illusions, secrets, living a fantasy life, overwhelmed by choices. Yeah, he couldn't make a decision about something. He didn't, he had a fear of a sacrifice. Scorpio energy, Scorpio, death. Damn, it's three Scorpios here. Death. He chose death. He chose ending his life. This person could have been somebody he knew already from childhood. So he decided wanting forgiveness, though. What are some messages from Twitch? Queen of Swords. Yeah. Libra energy here, Virgo, Libra energy here, just as weighing options, avoiding those options, making difficult decisions. He had a clear mind about his decision. Eight of Cups with the Page of Cups. Yeah, indecision again. A fear of change and a fear of loss. And new love. Mm. Eight of Pentacles. I, so I feel like he couldn't decide between a new love and an old love that just had no more passion anymore. Some do with Pentacles as well. A misdirected activity because I hate doing these readings like this. And, um, he's torn about some decisions. I'll say that. I'm going to end it there because it's not my business. <laughs>